Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company, week number seven of our Tech Tuesday series, and we're going to go over some projector cooling. So we'll show you how to cool individual equipment, equipment in a cabinet, uh, projector, for example, as well as uh, large-scale equipment racks. Uh, thanks a lot. All right, so let's jump into this. Uh, basically going to go over some of the cooling options uh, most home theater guys are going to use. And so first one I wanted to go over is uh, if you just have a piece of standalone equipment, an equipment rack, or maybe even on a shelf, or uh, maybe even some wine racks, however you guys want to put your gear. Um, and these are the USB fans from AC Infinity. And I'm going to walk over, apologize for the mess on our uh, demo room here and kind of showroom. But uh, we're using a few of those USB fans on some key items like the Xbox and the Kaleidoscape. And so it's a 1U unit. It's got a USB out. It's got a, a temperature probe. And it'll power up four, I think even up to ten of those uh, little USB fans. There's some... Uh, applications on the AC Infinity website that'll give you the indicator of how many you can do. And so here's a perfect example of how we would mount this on um, a piece of equipment. It's got little rubber tabs so it doesn't vibrate, make noise. You can see I'm pointing out the uh, venting there. Let's unbox this thing. And so basically just sits right on top. You got the transformer below. It's helping suck the heat out. And I'll show an example later on of how we'll do this on a large scale equipment rack. But these are cheap. $20 at the most. Um, they vary. They got larger sizes. That's the five inch version. They have a six inch version. And here I'm showing you if you were going to put some face plates on it, you would need a 2U to allow some air to get up in there. And so next, what I want to show you is uh, going to go over a couple of the other units they have. Um, I've got kind of a quick image here of what I'm talking about, but you can use these on the side of cabinets to let air pull out. You would need a little bit of gear on the top of the cabinet, uh, some space, excuse me, on the top of the cabinet for the hot air to kind of rise, and then you can push it out to the left or right or even the top of it with these nice units. So here's their little 4-inch version. They also make a larger version as shown here in the picture. So their larger version also includes their uh, digital display, which is very similar to the USB controller I showed you earlier that was the rack mount version. So you got the temperature probe and fan speed. So the smaller version, the 4-inch version, does have a speed controller on it, but it's only a, a 0, 1, 2, 3 application. Um, so you can set those how you want within the rack, but still use a temperature controller of the 1U. And so here I'll show you their uh, two fan version, so very similar to the uh, four inch uh, single fan version. And then they also make that in the double display as shown in that picture. So last, I wanted to go over the inline fan. So uh, basically we have a four inch inline fan here. And I'm gonna walk back over to our, uh, kind of our hush box slash equipment area and give you an indicator how we do that. I also have a much better video on this. So basically a four inch inlet that's pulling into the four inch fan that pushes over and blows air into our projector kind of hush box. And then again, we're pulling it out with that dual fan unit. So super good application. You can do it a, you know, a myriad of different ways, but we found this works perfect. We can watch two, three movies with no issues with that JVC projector. All right, and last, I kind of built this uh, real quick sketch slash diagram uh, showing our equipment racks, and kind of this would be like your master cooling system for a large-scale equipment rack. So our equipment racks are in a room. We can get to the back of them. Um, the front one pulls out if we need to get to the side left and right. And so what we've done here is we have our AC Infinity 1U fan controller. That's shown with the blue left arrow. And then we also have a, a DVR, or excuse me, an NVR on top of that that gets a little bit hot, so we've put one of our USB fan units that's getting powered off of that 1U controller. And then the second rack in, we have the Xbox. That guy gets a little bit hot, so again, we have a USB fan controller. And then the third rack, the Clyde Escape server slash Terra unit gets a little bit hot, as well as the uh, AC uh, audio control unit below uh, gains a little bit heat. So we have fan on that one pushing up. And then we have a void above our equipment racks where we have a six inch inline AC infinity fan with a duct and a grill. And that's kind of taking the heat out of the whole entire room and that's pushing it out into the adjoining room next to us. Now, of course, you could take that uh, four inch, six inch or even eight inch if you have a ton of heat and push that all the way outside of your house. AC infinity has duct dampers, grills, everything else. Um, again, I'll put descriptions on it below, but I wanted to give kind of a master overview of how we cool larger scale equipment rooms 
And then if you get into something that's just crazy that has server racks, you're going to have to get like a mini split AC unit or something else like that. But uh, anyway, hope you liked the video. Hope this might help you out with some cooling or even some purchase opportunities. Thanks a lot. We'll